Ken Hockey, Senior Editor with Workboat Magazine, and I'm here with uh, Dick Marler, President and CEO of Signal International in Mobile, Alabama. Dick, uh, I've got three questions for you. Number one, what kind of activity do you see today in the workboat market? Well, we see a real uptick in the market, uh, a lot of bid opportunities, a lot of companies out looking to replace uh, old equipment as well as expanding their fleets. Uh, they're spending money with naval architects and design houses, and these are real opportunities. It's just a question of when are they going to pull the trigger and start buying equipment. Uh, it's the one-year anniversary of Signal Ship Repair here in Mobile. How are things going? It's going really great. Uh, we've had an opportunity to uh, refurbish our dock and clean up the yard, uh, solicit old customers, get them to come back. We've had a really good response. And uh, we're very, um, very optimistic about uh, the long-term outlook of uh, signal ship repair. Uh, finally, what's been the impact of the deep, deep water drilling moratorium and the evolving bidding process? Well, that's been our core business at Signal for a number of years, and so we're, we're very entrenched in the market. And uh, initially, uh, because of the moratorium and rigs were stacked, particularly the 22 deep water rigs that were stacked, Several of them came to our yard for overall repair work <clears throat> that probably would have been performed uh, later in the year or perhaps even next year. Uh, however, um, since the moratorium is lifted, uh, we're still concerned about the slow permitting process, particularly in deep water, uh, and the ultimate fate of the deep water rigs that operate in the Gulf of Mexico. We have seen several units leave, uh, going to Brazil as well as, as West Africa. They leave on long-term contracts. So it's uncertain as how many deep water rigs we're really going to have in the Gulf of Mexico you know, in the next year or two until everything's sorted out with regard to the redundancy and safety that the government's going to demand in resuming the drilling process in deep water. Dick, thanks for your time. We appreciate it.